Hello there. Welcome to Fridays with Tab and Chance. I am Tabitha Brown. <laughs> and this is my husband. I'm Chance. What's up? Y'all gonna probably cut to him right now because he's not right here. This is a special edition. This is the wedding anniversary 20 years edition. But should we still bring the beat in? Bring the beat in! Oh. Insert music here. Bring the beat in! Let's answer the question so we can get out of here. Okay. Uh, today we had a photo shoot uh, to celebrate our 20 year wedding anniversary. Uh, we were styled by Jay Bolin. We were uh, photographed by Jacob Webster. And my whole team was here. The dresses, the suits, everything was just beautiful. You know, we were going to renew our vows, like do a full on wedding. And then we decided, you know what, let's just do a beautiful photo shoot, capture the moment, and take us a honeymoon, like a real vacation. Because we never actually got to have like a real honeymoon when we got married 20 years ago, honey. Ain't nobody had no money for all that. Um, and so we were like, we, instead we'll take us a nice vacation and we dedicate our lives to each other in our own way. So today was that. My favorite memory from my wedding day, after we walked down the aisle, like after they pronounced us, you know, husband and wife, we walked into this little back room and we just kind of both looked at each other and, you know, he saw, Chance started crying, which made me emotional. And it was kind of like, oh my God, we just did that. Um, and we danced a lot. <laughs> we danced a lot. But I think that is the quiet moments, because we had 300 people at our wedding, but it was something about that moment when we walked into the little room after we walked back, you know, after they, we walked down the aisle um, when it was over and we got into that little room and we just kind of looked at each other. It was something about just that moment with just us. Um, that was pretty special. It was pretty special. Yeah. I feel like I always wanted to marry Chance. And I believed in marriage, you know, ever since I was a little girl, you know, my mom and dad were together for a very long time, even though they did divorce, but they were together for almost 25 years before um, they, you know, divorced. And I always knew, like, he just had this special place in my heart, right? But we had been together for a long time and we had got engaged and we went through a whole lot of stuff after being engaged, we were young, you know, got engaged at like 20, 21 years old. And he didn't really believe in marriage back then because he didn't really have an example of it in his family. And he would always say, you know, people don't, it's only a piece of paper. And we would kind of argue about that. I'm like, it's not just a piece of paper, you know, but, but you ain't had an example. You do believe that. And I got to a place where I was like, you know what, after we ended up having a baby, and that was choice. And I was like, you know what? I don't care if we get married or not. If, as long as we're gonna be together forever, I don't care. I, I don't need to be married to you as long as I'm with you. And I was all right with that. And we ended up going to a wedding. Our friend Hope went to her wedding. And after the wedding, I think he, he thought, you know, you hear people say, if you, you take a woman to a wedding, she want to get married type of thing. I think he thought I was going to be like, okay, I want to get married. Like, but I had made up in my mind, I don't care if we get married, I just want to be with you. And so he was like, uh, that was amazing. I remember us being in the car. I was like, yeah, he was like, that make you want to get married? I was like, mm -mm, I'm good. I don't want to get married. You know, we together. That's... He was like, oh, now you don't want to marry me? I was like, time out. I thought you had said. You see, it was just a piece of paper. I didn't told you I'm still wearing the ring, but I literally was like, as long as we together. And he was like, so he got upset, like, oh, now you don't want to, I was like, I never said I didn't want to marry you. I was just saying, I'm fine if we don't get married. But it was at that moment that he realized whatever the pastor said that day that stuck with him, he wanted to get married after that. Uh, but I already knew, like, I would have married Chance the day he gave me the ring, you know? Um, but I also would have just stayed with him forever either way. But I guess, you know, I always knew, but even after that day, it was like, well, if you do want to get married, I'm still down to get married. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's how that went. In what ways has he influenced me? Um, 
I think he helped me be more independent. I don't think he realizes how much he taught me not to rely on other people. Uh, and when I say other people, like my daddy, I'm a daddy's girl, and I used to rely on my daddy for a lot. Uh, trust became a thing, like we gotta trust each other. I think that we always say is we all we got. And what I've learned is we all we need. And that's what he has taught me, that if we got each other's back, uh, we don't have to always look for somebody else to support us. As long as we support each other, that we all right, you know, and, and we'll make it. And we have, we have, so, yeah. The next 20 years, oh man, you know, I think about that and I get a little bit emotional because, uh, It's gonna be a little bit different. It will be no babies, like we won't have babies. Uh, our, our kids will really, really be grown. You know, we got one left, we got Quest in the house. He's 10 about to be 11 at this time. Um, and it's gonna be uh, like starting over you know, it's a, it's a exciting time. Um, and we also could potentially become grandparents. <laughs> uh, but I also know that hard times with our parents getting older, right? Um, we went through that with my mom at an early phase of our marriage and I know that we will be so blessed if in 20 years, both of our parents don't get sick and live healthy lives uh, and that it doesn't cause us to have to love even harder. But I know it's gonna uh, call for some very hard loving. Um, and, and he's gonna have to stand for me and I'm gonna have to stand for him some days. But I am so excited that he's the person I get to stand for and he's the person that will stand for me. Um, but I do also think that more traveling, <laughs> no babysitters. <laughs> we ain't got to find nobody to keep the kids in the next 20 years. Um, but the thing I look forward to the most, I think, is just doing it together. You know, I, I pray that we both stay healthy, um, that we continue to fall in love every day. Um, I'm excited to see who he is still becoming and who I'm still becoming, you know. Um, I think it's going to only get better. I think we'll also slow it down a little bit and take our time with life. Uh, you know, as you get older, you really start to enjoy the days, right? Uh, I heard somebody say, you know, um, years are short, but days are long. And I want to have long days with my husband. And, you know, I'm pretty sure we're going to probably end up moving back to the country. I can see us sitting on the porch, <laughs> watching the lightning bugs at night, drinking some, you know, lemonade or some sweet tea, sitting in a rocket chair, like chilling, you know, and then vacationing when we want to, but taking it slow, you know, as we enter into like our 50s and 60s. That's what I would love. Um, to see us be, yeah. Today was great. It was a day of reflecting on 20 years married and 25 years together. Um, a lot of fun, you know, and a proud moment of being able to look at my wife and, and know that we made it. My favorite memory <clears throat> from our wedding day would have to be watching my wife walk down the aisle, coming to terms with the fact that, it, that that was the moment that I really realized what was going on. Like, we planning for a wedding, talking about marriage. It's that moment where you realize like, man, this is really, really happening. Um, and to see her beside her dad, it represents a certain level of trust from both her dad and her. So, yeah, I, I would have to say that that's probably my fondest, uh, my best memory of my wedding. I knew I wanted to marry Tab, or I knew that she was the one for me. 
for a couple of reasons. It's not one particular reason. There's there's a few. Tab has a spirit of joy. Um, she had a a she was a believer in a way that I had never experienced before, um, and it was it, that was attractive to me. Um, she was a little crazy, but it was a crazy that I just. I just need it in my life. Um, and then the other thing was, Tab was raised uh, in the church and very, uh, um, it was, you know, she was a daddy's girl and had, you know, was, br was brought up very religious, uh, I would say. And there was a time where she was pressuring me or we were being pressured. I wouldn't say that she was pressuring me about getting married. And I, and I remember her at some point deciding that even if we didn't get married, she was okay with being with me. And that was a level of loyalty and love that it, it was it, it just was impressive to me because her being a daddy's girl her growing up religious for her to just say hey look I know that you didn't grow up like I did um, and this goes against everything that I believe in and it has disappointed my dad not that that was not not that that was is what I was intending on doing at all it just told me that that she's with me for the for love she really just wanted to be with me um and at that time i was not the most <laughs> attractive uh uh person i really didn't have a whole lot to offer in fact i came with luggage and she loved me unconditionally so that was definitely my wife tab has influenced me and who i am tremendously um when we got together like i said tab was a she was just her, her joy her belief was it was just infectious it was one of those things that you know i wanted to be around i was not as optimistic um but more so pessimistic um because i had been through a couple of things in life that she hadn't and over time it just i just started to you know i you know think a little bit more optimistic you know um love a little bit harder um i think that she has made me uh, a more patient man um i think uh, i just think you know it, i think tab has been to me what any spouse man or woman you know should be uh to their significant other the next 20 years. I want the next 20 years to be, first and foremost, I want me and my wife to be healthy. That's what I would love for us to be. I want us to be healthy. I want us to be in love. I want us to be friends. Um, I want us to travel together. I want us to experience uh, our grandchildren together. I want us to I want us to experience <clears throat> life and the things to me that, you know, the things that I'm, I'm naming are, are probably, the, the, those are not probably, they are the most important things to me in life. Um, so that's what I would love for the next 20 years to represent. That's what I would love for them to look like. I would love for us to be together in health, in family, and seeing the world and enjoying each other's space. I love my wife. <laughs> I love her and I'm, I'm thankful that I've been able to grow into adulthood with her. I've been able to be become a father in the fashion that I wanted to become a father with her. I've, um, I'm thankful that she has been patient and shared her life and her space that we've been willing to share a space together. Um, I'm, I'm thankful that we that that 
she has a forgiving heart and taught me what it is to be a forgiving, patient human being. I'm thankful that God um, allowed me to be with my soulmate because I know that a whole lot of people go through life without having someone um, to love, let alone to say that they are for certain that they're with their soulmate. Um, so I'm thankful for that. And I, I love my wife. I love you, Tab. Um, and I look forward to sharing the rest of our lives together. Twenty year wedding anniversary photo shoot. How you feel about it? I feel good. Yes. Yeah, I feel clean. It has been absolutely amazing. I think I say do again. I do again. But twenty plus more years. Yeah. Or a hundred more. What you think? Yes. I'm good on either one. <laughs> Very good. And a big thank you to our team. Jay Bowen, we can where Jay was at. Brandy, Shay, everybody. Listen, we could not have done it without them. They are absolutely amazing. Honey, very good. Y'all about to be very good. Okay, uh, until the next time, because we can do a little honeymoon. <laughs> y'all going about y'all business and have the most amazing day. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else again. 20 years. Got my ass on dick. 20 years. Got my ass on dick. 20 years. <laughs> <laughs>